Hi right, guys, welcome to week 19 of our West Boulevard project. So uh, this week we're going to do a quick walk around. We're just going to be talking about the, the skimming, um, the electrics and the uh, concreting at the back. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Cheers mate, thank you. So, as you would have saw from last week's video, week 18, we were in the process of uh, skimming and getting, getting the whole property plastered. Now, that is from what I can see about 95% done. There are a couple of little bit, bits of touch-ups, but again, our plaster has come through and done a really nice job, so it's looking good. So, we're gonna have a quick walk around uh, and then I'm gonna come back outside and just have a little discussion about the electrics and our issue that we face with the electrics. So, let's have a walk through. So, as you guys know, this is sort of the business end now. This is when we start to really think about furniture, Think about the fixtures and fittings. Think about how we're really going to be selling this to the tenants once they move in. So this is the middle room now, as you can see set up. We've got our two skylights up there, which are escape roofs and a small ensuite, which is in here. You can see what is going to be our utility cupboard. And we're also going to put a washer dryer in there as well. Make sure it's going to be soundproofed and fire doored. So, not too much interference in there, but it's a good space and we want to make sure we utilise it. This property in itself hasn't got much external space. Um, you know, the rooms are pretty large as you can see, but there's not sort of much space to put things like um, vacuum, you know, mop and bucket, just sundries that you actually need in the property. So you can see here, this is where our kitchen is going to start. So we're looking at putting a couple of fridge freezers here. So you can see we've just put some floor level down here and some screed. So we're getting that flattened out into the final room downstairs, which is our longer room. Actually, for two. I'm not sure if we've given them a view of the outside at the moment. So as you can see, it's a really, really nice view. So the property backs onto right, right onto a park, which is really nice. So we're going to have to see if we can actually get some access out there, don't we too? What better than a park as the back garden? So, have a little walk down here. You can see <clears throat> down the back of the property again. We can't get down there yet, but you can see we have concreted the area at the back, our patio type area. So we're going to be actually be putting some stairs in. Now, th there's only a couple of ways really we could put the stairs in. Put it down there so you sort of land at the bottom of the patio or put it down this way. So what we've decided is that we're actually going to put the stairs sort of twisting and then coming down that way in order for us to be able to use that space and have that as usable space. And to be fair, we just think, think it looks visually much more attractive. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We decided what we're doing with the rest of the garden yet too. Yeah, cement and, well, cement, really. Cement it all. Yeah, yeah. I Potentially think. something in the middle. Yeah. Um, not sure what, yeah. Um, we don't need to decide now anyway. Exactly, exactly. They're, they're, they're the things that, I think we probably do see a lot of investors getting quite tied up on, on those types of decisions, don't you, too? And I yeah, think yeah. they spend quite a lot of time, um, you know, time, energy, spend a lot of money. Ultimately, um, yes, it's usable space. Yes, it's a garden. Yes, you want to make it inviting. But in actual fact, that's not going to sell the property. It's an added extra, but that's not going to sell the property to our tenants. It's the maintenance anyway. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's a management, it's a management issue as well. Yeah, we can always use uh, large pot pots to add greenery to yeah. it. It's not too bad. Right, quick run upstairs. And like I said, all the skimming has been done. I'm going to take it to the front room, which is the most advanced room in terms of what we've got finished. So, as you guys know, this has sort of had the first coat of paint for most actually. Yeah. I think well, yeah. pretty much since last year. Yeah, um, but this is the property where. If you just go into the ensuite, you can sort of see, sort of see where we're at. Take the shape. Take the shape. Dance aqua boards. Right. What I'm going to do now is, um, so one issue that we've encountered, and we've only kind of encountered it later on down the line, potentially something that we could have picked up earlier, but it's the electricity load. So. We are currently, with the fixtures and fittings in the house, we're currently probably running at about 85 amp. Now, spark is, apologies if I'm using the wrong terms, but we're running at about 85 amp. Um, the load into the property, I believe, is 80, so we need to get it upgraded. So what we've had to do is obviously speak to Western Power. It's a, a cost that was sort of unforeseen. We didn't expect it, but we do have to upgrade the electrics throughout the whole house. Now, Western Power are not upgrading 
a single fuse up to 100 amp anymore. I believe they're going to 80 max, which is proper to already is. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go for a three phase supply, which obviously costs. But our build team are already on site. We know exactly what we need to do. So we're going to get it done. We've already got that paid for. I'll quickly show you outside actually what we need to do from our side. <clears throat> so as you guys know, meter utility room is in there. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to dig a trench from up there on the pavement. It's literally going to come down this way into here, then it's going to cross into here, and then you can see, I don't want to be too dangerous, but just a little bit further down there where those um, boards start, that's where we'll actually enter into the property for the new supply. So we know exactly what we need, we know where it is. Again, this is the kind of issues that you will potentially get with, with buildings. It's not actually something that we've encountered before, is it too? No, this um, is completely new. It's, it's completely new, but I believe it's because the, the supply in here is quite old as well. So we need some upgrades. Again, for our investor, it's going to be done done once it's done properly they're not going to need to revisit it for another 50 or 60 years so that's what we try and do okay. hopefully that's been helpful see you guys in the next one